Welcome back to Storytime with Literacy Quebec and me. Oh my God. Everybody's favorite unofficial auntie, drag artist, and qualified early childhood educator with many, 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 many years of experience reading stories to children of all ages. So here we are together again, and we are going to be diving into a brand new book, but this is a book that's different from every other one that we've done so far. Because, well, you know, we've, we've read a lot of books with some beautiful illustrations. Does every, if you've been here before, you've probably heard me explain what that word means. Do you remember? Illustrations? So the illustrations are the pictures inside of a book. So illustrations are very fun, but did you know that there are books with no pictures in them? Most books that adults read have no pictures. There are no illustrations. But today, Literacy Quebec sent me a special book that's for children, but there are no pictures. Ta-da! This is the book with no pictures. It explains itself pretty clearly. So this is the book with no pictures written by B.J. Novak. Now, you might, if you are a grown-up watching this, you might recognize the name B.J. Novak. He plays Ryan on The Office. So this is a book that he wrote. Now, usually I would say written by B.J. Novak with illustrations. There's no illustrations. There's just words in this book. So we're going to read this book together and see what it's like to read a book with no pictures. Are you ready, everyone? Snuggle in, get comfy, and let's get started. So to start, as usual, this is a very particular book again because it's very white and already I can see I'm getting fingerprints on it but it's that's okay because our book has a jacket. A jacket is the piece of paper that protects the cover of the book so I'm going to take off the jacket so it's easier for me to read. I'm going to put it down and then when we're done we're going to put the, the jacket back on so I don't get up fingerprints all over it so I don't spill my water on it or get dings or dents in it from playing around it because books are very precious and we should take very good care of them. So this is a very pretty white book so we want to make sure that it stays that way. <clears throat> so let's get started with the book with no pictures. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and very serious. Do you think that maybe it's going to be a boring book because we don't have pictures? There's nothing to look at, really. Let's see. It seems like it might be boring and serious, except here is how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say. Wait, what? That's what it says here. So I'm reading the book. Auntie Uma is reading the book. So I guess that means that I have to say whatever the words say or whatever words are written in a book, I have to say them. I hope they're good words. No matter what, I have to read them. No matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means even if the words say, are you ready? Blork! Wait, what? It doesn't even mean anything. Or, wait, wait, wait a second, what? This, this isn't the kind of book that I wanted to read. And I, and I have to say every word the book says. Uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. I am not a monkey. 
And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth in my monkey voice. That, that's not true. I am not, I am not a monkey. Do I look like a monkey? Do I have a monkey voice? Well, according to this book, I have a monkey voice. Yes, I am a monkey. <laughs> also, I am a robot monkey. Mm, ooh, ooh, ah, 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 mm, monkey. What? <laughs> and my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this, is this whole book a trick? Can I, can I stop reading, please? No? Okay, let's keep going. And now it's time for me to sing to you my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing a... Oh, God! Glug, glug, glug! My face is a bug! I eat ants for breakfast right off of the rug! What? <laughs> oh, goodness! This book is ridiculous! Can I stop reading it yet? Can I? No! There are more pages? I have to read the rest? My only friend in the whole world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt! <laughs> Boo Boo Butt! <laughs> and also, the kid I'm reading this book to, you, is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. You. Oh, really? Is that so? And this kid is the smartest kid, too, because this kid chose this book even though it has no pictures. Because kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things. And make silly sounds like, make silly sounds like what? Mm. Oh no, <laughs> here it comes. Gawako, my grump do Blaggity, blaggity, glibbity, globbity, globbity, glibbity, beep, boop. Eee, ba doingy face. They sound like an old dial up modem. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it is complete and utter, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 choose a book with pictures, please, because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end. Bonk! <laughs> I didn't want to have to say that. Yeah. And that is the end of the book with no pictures by B.J. Novak. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed that. I had to read the whole thing. There was no pictures, but it was pretty wild. Do we want to do, I, I, do we want to do it one more time? Do we want, let's, let's read one last time the crazy sounds that I had to read. Let's do it together. <clears throat> Are you ready? One, two, three. Glurr, <gasps> gawako, magrumpfadoo, ay, 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 brug, brug, brug. Oom, fing, po, blaggity, blaggity, glibbity, globbity, globbity, glibbity, beep, boop, beep. 
but doing it face. <laughs> so listen, we thought it was going to be boring and serious because there's no pictures, but obviously we can have a lot of fun with books that only have words in them. We just have to use our imaginations and have fun. So even if there's no pictures, you can still have a lot of fun with your book. I hope you enjoyed this one, the book with no pictures. <laughs> A special gift from Literacy Quebec. Now, folks, if you enjoyed our story time together, then you can rest assured that I am going to be coming back with Literacy Quebec. So what you want to do is you want to follow us on our social medias. Uh, on Facebook, I'm also on Twitter and Instagram and all that fun stuff. So you can find Literacy Quebec. And Uma God, U M A G A H D. And you can find out when I have shows because we do some drag brunches where the whole family can come along. I do other events also. And I maybe I'm available for birthday parties, bar mitzvahs, and anything else you might want to invite me to your house for. Uh, so you can find us all on our social medias to know whenever Literacy Quebec and I are going to be working together again because we have some very fun stuff planned for all of you. So thank you for sharing this time for me, uh, with me. I love reading these things, these books with you and I can't wait to do it again. So everybody, thank you all so, so much. I'm going to get my book dressed up again. Let's put his jacket back on. And then we will see you all again very soon. Take care of your books, take care of each other. And I'm Uma God, God bless. Bye everyone.